Hi, I'm Brett. Today I've got a video update on the Mitsubishi Evo 10 and we're talking about the alloy four-cylinder 4B11 engine. Now we all know the engine's a pretty good package after the uh, replacement of the previous Evo 9 and the 4G63. But one of the things that a lot of people are doing is modifying them and looking for further improvements. And to my left is a Evo 10 that was recently purchased by a client. Um, part of the diagnosis of the uh, purchase we had found some uh, mechanical problems with the car and he has chosen to leave the car with us to do some more inspections and part of that was to pull the head off because we did a compression and a leak down test and it wasn't probably as good as what we'd expected for an engine that had such a major performance upgrade with a recent engine rebuild um, with the previous owners. So beside me we've got the head and I wanted to show you what it looks like in its bare state. We're sitting on the bench because we've still got the um, cams and the valves and the valve springs in place, but you can see to my right is a variable cam control for the inlet side and um, the exhaust and the exhaust side. And it's a good opportunity to see what the valve configuration being a multi-valve engine and the spark plug sitting in between. And you say, well, why is it so oily and looks a little bit sooty? Well, one of the things that we diagnosed when we did the compression and the leak down test initially for the client was we diagnosed the compression on a dry test was not as good as what we expected. We then did a wet test and it came up substantially, which in, um, indicates uh, piston problems in the bore. But at the same time, we then did a leak, uh, leakage test and the leakage indicated that some of the cylinders were quite poor and that's typically uh, valves. So the client opted to get us to pull the head off and do an inspection on the valves and on the piston to ball clearance and the, and the wear in the ball. And what we've found overnight, we did, which is a fairly basic test, and you can do this yourself um, over, from home. And what we did was we turned, obviously had the head upside down. We filled the combustion um, um, areas with just normal engine oil and then let it sit overnight. And if you've got leakage through the valves, what happens is the oil will seep around the side of the valve face and the valve seat and then come out the port. And then you can quite easily see um, which valves are the ones that are not seated properly and if there's any particular problems with any of them. And what we did work out was this engine does have some problems with the, the valve seats. We can look at them here and tell that they visually look okay, but what you can't see is how good they're seating um, on the head and that then gives us a more accurate information of what we need to do is to do a proper um, dismantle of the heads, pull the valves out, uh, and make sure it doesn't have any burnt valves. Visually, there's nothing cr dramatically wrong, but it only takes a small amount of uh, leakage on the valve seats, which can loss, which can cause you to lose um, performance. And on an engine like this, with a new owner, we want to obviously get as much information as we can. So. Um, the bottom line of this video is to teach you an opportunity to do some of these basic tests that you can do from home, which allows you to do some common sense diagnosis, which then allows you to then obviously send the head away to a head and valve specialist to pull the, end, the head completely apart, do some more inspections, and then typically I would imagine this head probably needs a valve grind and reseat the valves and put it all back together and then give it a bit of a birthday as it goes back together. So you'll see in the engine bay here just quickly what it looks like without a head. So remember on the um, Evo 10 engine, the turbo is now at the back. Um, it's got a, a modified turbo. Here's the, um, the four cylinders. Um, the, you can see the coolant sitting in the um, coolant galleries between the bore um, of the piston, the piston bores and the outside of the block. And of course on the front is where the inlet manifold sits itself. So what we'll be doing, and the good thing about this engine is you can pull the sump off and pull the crank out, well not the crank out, but you can pull the pistons and rods out in place without having to pull the whole block out. That's what we're gonna do next, and we'll give you another video for an update on that as well at the same time. So there you have it, some helpful information on what you can do to look after and do some diagnosis yourself. I hope this video has helped you. Of course, remember this car and these models, we do a lot of custom tuning on. You can follow us on our website and contact us for a custom tune anywhere in Australia through mrttuned.com.au. Of course, you want to do some mechanical work or repairs or just good old reliable servicing. We do a lot of that as well. But for today, my name is Brett Middleton. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Send us an email, subscribe to this channel, and um, we'll hear from you soon, hopefully. But for now, 
stay tuned for the next video update where we'll show you what the uh, piston to ball clearance looks like on this engine. Bye for now.